Large action models or LAMs are the next logical step from large language models or LLMs. While LLMs like GPT-4 excel at understanding and generating language, LAMs take things a step further. They perform tasks based on those instructions. This evolution opens up exciting possibilities, especially for automating complex real-world workflows. If you have seen my previous videos on machine learning or LLMs, and if not, trust me, you are missing out. Then you already have a solid foundation. Think of LAMs as AI with both brains and hands. They don't just answer questions, they understand instructions and act on them. From checking off tasks on your to-do list and actually getting things done. Let's keep it simple. LLMs understand and respond in natural language. And LAMs understand, respond and take action. They are like an AI assistant that doesn't just give advice but actually does the work. Imagine you are managing a team. With an LLM, you might ask, how do I generate a monthly performance report? And it will provide the steps. But with a LAM, you can ask, generate the report and email it to the team. And voila, it handles everything from fetching the data to hitting send. LAMs aren't powered solely by neural networks. They combine neural networks with symbolic AI to enhance their reasoning capabilities. Neural networks help LAMs recognize patterns and understand natural language instructions. Whereas symbolic AI adds a layer of structured, rule-based reasoning, helping LAMs make sense of tasks in a logical, step-by-step -step way. So while LLMs are great at having conversations, LAMs are like AI that can both talk and act. Neurosymbolic AI is the secret sauce that allows them to turn instructions into meaningful actions, making them highly effective at complex real-world automation. Now, LAMs are designed to work towards specific goals, efficiently and autonomously. Let's say you tell a LAM, fetch sales data for this month and generate a PDF report. The LAM interprets the request and identifies each step required. It queries the database for the relevant data. It processes and organizes the information. And finally, it generates the report and can even send it via email. With LAMs, there is no more manual labor of pulling data into spreadsheets. They handle everything, start to finish. LAMs can also learn from UI flow data. That's the data in how users interact with applications. By observing patterns like button clicks, form submissions, and navigation paths, LAMs can mimic these actions. Imagine a virtual assistant that understands your workflow and knows exactly which buttons to click and when. Now, with great power comes great responsibility. Since LAMs interact with real systems and often sensitive data, privacy and security are critical. LAMs need strong authentication, encryption, and secure access controls to prevent misuse. Every action performed by a LAM should be logged for accountability, much like how we audit human actions in a corporate environment. You want to be able to trust that your LAM is only accessing data with the proper clearances. Now, LAMs may sound similar to AI agents, but they go beyond traditional rule-based automation. AI agents usually follow a specific set of rules in a confined environment, like web crawlers or customer support chatbots. LAMs, however, combine language comprehension with autonomy, working across multiple applications, domains, and workflows. An AI agent might handle a simple task like send an email, but an LAM can take on an entire project, like scheduling a team meeting, draft the agenda, and share last month's performance report. LAMs are essentially general-purpose agents that interpret complex instructions and act across different systems. The architecture of LAMs built on top of existing LLM frameworks, but extends them by incorporating additional layers to handle action execution, decision making, and application interaction. First, we have the core LLM layer, the brain of the LAM where language processing happens. This layer is responsible for understanding your instructions, like create a report or sending an email. Models like GPT or BERT are often used here, translating your request into specific actionable steps. Next is the decision making layer, which acts as the logic center. Once the LLM layer has understood the instruction, the decision-making layer plans out each action. It combines neural network with symbolic AI, applying rules to make sure each step is valid. For example, it might check if you are authorized to access certain data before moving forward. Then, we have the application connectivity layer, the bridge that connects the LAM to the other tools and systems. This layer handles all the API calls, allowing the LAM to retrieve data, start workflows, or interact with applications like calendars, databases, or email clients. It's what lets LAMs work across different platforms in real time. 
The action execution layer is where the real work gets done. Think of this as the hands of the LM. It takes instructions from the decision making layer and actually performs the task. So if you tell the LAM, send an email with last week's sales summary, this layer pulls the data, creates the summary, and sends the email. It's all about turning plans into action. Finally, there is the feedback and monitoring layer which serves as quality control. This layer tracks whether tasks were completed successfully and flags any issues. It also gathers feedback, helping the LAM improve over time. Think of it as the layer that ensures everything runs smoothly and keeps learning from each task. In the world of automation and AI, the ability to not only understand requests but also perform tasks is incredibly valuable. LAMs can be game changers, especially in areas like automating repetitive tasks in software engineering. Think setting up CI-CD pipelines. They can also enhance customer support, not just by responding to questions, but by taking actions like resetting passwords or updating records. And when it comes to managing workflows, LAMs can step in, handling decisions and tasks automatically without needing human intervention. LAMs are paving the way for a new era of AI-powered automation. With strong privacy and security protocols, LAMs should be able to handle complex workflows safely and at scale. Leveraging cloud infrastructures like Kubernetes or AWS Lambda ensures they can handle high volumes of tasks seamlessly across platforms. In future videos, we'll dive deeper into challenges of decision-making accuracy, real-world system integration, and handling security and ethical concerns in action-taking AI models. And if you have got ideas on what you'd like to automate with LAM, let me know in the comments below.